pocket. Yes. Please. Okay. Go ahead, please. So, I want to focus on this idea of protecting kids, particularly protecting young girls from violence. The vast majority of violence perpetrated against young women is at the hands of cis men. Most of it actually at the hands of cis white men, but we can leave race out of it today. If we are prioritizing the protection of young women from violence at the hands of people who would commit it, and most of the people who commit that violence, the people who are statistically most likely to commit that violence, are people who are both by gender and sex, and sex biologically male, would it not make more sense based on the priorities espoused in this bill to focus on segregating men away from women in public transportation, not just public restrooms, a lot of assaults happen in public transportation. Should we not keep men out of hallways and classrooms and other places where this violence is taking place? Why the distinction? Through the chair to Representative Isaacson, I don't recall women or girls traveling around on the bus naked but when they're in their locker room, they are. And that's a situation where they're extremely vulnerable. But young men are also vulnerable because they're visual. And they don't need young women coming into their locker rooms or bathrooms and using them and presenting all of their parts. Pornography is an epidemic and it's a huge problem in our country. This is contributing to that. So we aren't talking about what's gonna happen on a bus where everybody's clothed or what's gonna happen around the corner. We're talking about protecting all girls and all boys from a cultural shift that is destroying their comfort, eliminating their dignity, taking their privacy, and turning them into sexualized objects. We need to get back to where we choose as government to wield the sword to protect the innocent and the vulnerable, and that's what this bill is about. Another question? Oh, yes. I don't know how we got to pornography there, but um, I'm going to bring us back to what you have said the bill, what is it, the language in the bill and what the bill is about, which is protecting kids. We already have laws on the books, as my colleague mentioned, for indecent exposure. So we don't need more of those in this bill. We already have them. You are not allowed to do that. It is against the law. You cannot expose yourself to kids, thankfully. So I'm, one, I'm just I genuinely am wondering, on a college campus where mass shooters are most likely to be men, where the people who commit most violent acts are men, not in bathrooms, not without their clothes on, they commit violent acts all over the place, most assaults don't happen in bathrooms, why are we not focused, if that is truly the goal, to protect people from violence, especially young people, why are we not focused on things that would actually make a difference in protecting them? Chair, Representative Isaacson, we, we can't separate society completely. We can't have uh, people on separate buses, men on one bus and women on another bus. But I believe that this bill recognizes the fact that in a restroom or locked room, locker room, it's uniquely private. It's unlike other situations in, in the world, whether we're on a bus or whether we're in a classroom or whether we're walking down the street. We're not going to have one side of the street uh, you know, for men and one side of the street for women. That doesn't make any sense at all. We're going to be around each other all of the time. But this bill recognizes the unique situation that a restroom and locker room uh, is in our society. Uh, Representative Isaacson, I'd just like to make a comment, and I, I absolutely agree with the fact that any testimony that takes place in any comment can be, uh, is absolutely a part of the record. My point is that in, in many controversial issues, there are things said with emotion across the board that could be implied to be a part of a bill, and I just want to make sure that anyone in the listening audience doesn't pass by saying, gosh, they're checking genitals on this bill too, or whatever it is. And I always want to have clarification and control over those types of things. So point taken. Representative Willis. 